Hello everybody. So today we'll kick off a very interesting topic in mathematics, which we call probability. Probability is perhaps the most practically used field of study in math mathematics. Subconsciously, we use probability in our day-to-day -day lives all the time to solve and to make better decisions in, in our lives. For instance, consider the decision to carry your raincoats or umbrellas when you're going off to your schools or colleges in the morning. Now, we don't do that every day, right? We don't carry our umbrellas or our raincoats every day. We don't want to end up in a situation where we are carrying our raincoats and it's 35 degrees hot and we are sweating through our shirts. On the contrary, we also don't want to end up in a situation where it's raining hard and we don't have our umbrellas with us. So we do our smart thing here and we carry our umbrellas or our raincoats when we wake up in the morning and we see that the morning is very windy or cloudy. Even though it may not be raining at that particular time, we figure that there is a good chance that it may rain sometime later in the day. Now let us consider another scenario. While going off to work in the morning or to, going or to schools, we always consider our past experiences with the traffic conditions. So suppose I want to go off to work and I have route A and route B. Now I generally take route A because route A is smaller than route B. But my past experiences with traffic tell me that if I leave my home after 9 o'clock in the morning, I generally find a lot of traffic on route A. And if in that case, if I take route B, I end up getting to the office earlier. So now whenever I'm leaving my home, I'll consider this piece of information and I'll think that if I'm leaving my home after 9 o'clock in the morning, I'll try and prefer going through the route B so as to avoid some possible traffic that might be on route A. So these are just two cases out of the multiple different cases that happen in your everyday life where subconsciously the theory of probability helps us make a better decision. Now, apart from these day-to-day -day activities, the knowledge of probability helps us solve real-world problems as well. It helps us in the fields like weather forecasting, communications, data analysis, finance and share markets, and sports strategies, etc. So we can see that probability is one of the most important tools in mathematics. And the knowledge of probability helps us in various different aspects of our lives. So to, be so to begin our journey into probability, we'll first take a look at some terminology that is associated with the study of probability. So we'll answer some basic questions like what, what an experiment is. Then we'll see what is the sample space associated with a random experiment. Then we'll go on to study about what events are, what different kinds of event exist, what are the differences between these events. Then finally, we'll see how we calculate the theoretical and the experimental probability. Once we are familiar with these terms, we'll be ready to tackle some problems of probability. See you in the next lecture.